Today's transmission from the beautiful Venice Beach, California is about network marketing. These are the three things to never do again, because I know you've done them, and how to enroll people into your business. Now, the first thing to never do again, if you are a network marketer of any kind, and hear me before I even say any of this, I was a network marketer for a few years. I did something that had to do with the legal system and it was awesome and I got to the top, not all the way to the top, but pretty high, and I did all of these things. So this is why I'm saying it, this is not just a guess. I have a lot of friends in um, different network marketing companies and all of it's beautiful and amazing and there is a dark side. And so the first thing to not do ever again if you are a network marketer is to call somebody who you used to know or who you used to work with and say to them hey Todd I would love to meet up how have you been and then Todd goes oh I'm good bro let's let's meet up and then instead of telling Todd I want to meet up because I want to catch up and I want to tell you about an opportunity in a business that I am in. This is the difference, guys. This is what pisses people off about network marketing, is they feel like it's a setup. They get to the coffee shop thinking that you guys are just going to be friends, and really you're just there to talk about how their life is so jacked up and why they need this particular product, and they need to leave their nine to five and have the freedom lifestyle right now. All good. Use the dialogue that your company gave you and all that good stuff, and tell people. If you don't tell them, they're going to be pissed at you and they're not going to want to work with you ever. And even if they do work with you and then they get in and then they realize a few things, they're going to be really upset with you because you've set them up. So don't do that. Thing number two to never do again is to tell those same people that you're enrolling into the business that this is the freedom lifestyle and show them all the millionaires without telling them. And this is the part B. It's all good to show them all the millionaires and everybody made it and this is so and so and she's 14 and she's, you know, a 40 million dollar business or all this stuff you guys do. It's awesome. But without telling them that most people statistically fail at this business. Without telling them that that's a very small percentage of the people who make it all the way up there. Now what you can say is, you know what, we have a lot of millionaires and we have a lot of people who are you know, making that 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars a year range and, and that's beautiful and they love that. All of it can be done from your home. That's more enrolling than trying to sell somebody this huge dream that statistically is mainly crap. There's a small percentage of people in every network marketing business that actually kill it. The rest of them? just kind of get by and even more of them fail at the business. Which is why a lot of these businesses get in trouble with the government for having more people enrolled in the business than people actually using the products. All good. Once again, I love network marketing. I have so many friends in it. This is not a diss track or anything of that nature. I just want you to hear that. Thing number three, to never do again if you are a network marketer. Two parts. First part is don't tell people that it's so easy, bro. It's like taking candy from a baby, bro. First and foremost, never steal candy from a baby. Second of all, never give baby a candy in the first place. These, this is, all of that's an issue. But the point is, is that a lot of us try to sell this thing as if it's just the easiest thing in the world. And the reality is, is that to be a network marketer, to be somebody who's successful in network marketing, it takes a lot of work. And so if you don't set people up to understand that they're not just gonna come in and dance their way through and become a millionaire, that they're gonna have to be on the phone all day, every day, that they're gonna be, have to be living and breathing this stuff all day, every day, that this is actually a new career. And the, the part B to this is a lot of times what gets sold is you do this for a few years so you can then play the guitar, right? And I hate that. I hate that. If somebody is not right for this business, do not tell them they are. Have them go play the guitar, because that's what's truly on their heart. Yes, for some people, they don't know what they want out of life, and instead of working a, a dead-end nine-to-five job, network marketing is fantastic. But for the rest of those people who you meet, who you know, want to be accountants or whatever the case may be, or, or play the guitar, tell them to go play the guitar. One of the best things you can do to save your friendship, because that's the thing that a lot of people miss. They get so caught up in the dream, and money, 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 and more numbers, and more people on my team that they forget that these are humans. 
These are humans and these are your friends. These are people that you know. And once the business is long gone, these people will remain. And so what you don't want to do is to set yourself up to be this shark that everybody's calling around and texting and like, yo, did Brian text you? Because if he did, don't answer his text because all he's going to do is set you up and have you at a thing and he's going to take you to a meeting and he's going to tell you that it's not a meeting, that it's just a meetup with some cool young people who are millennials and they just want to hang out and have fun and dance and stuff. But the reality is, is that they don't just want to do that. They want you in their cult. You don't want your friends saying that stuff. So if your friend is into the guitar and that's what he truly wants out of his life, like let him do that. Like just let him do that. Don't make it about numbers. Make it about humans. The part B to this is the Facebook post. I know different companies have different ways of doing this. People kind of know that when you say these things and you're super vague, that you're setting them up for that. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Like do your thug thizzle. Type yes if you wanna make $20,000 in one month. Type yes if you're interested in knowing how I did this thing. But when somebody says no, I think for the sake of your business, for the sake of your personal integrity, and for the sake of that human, hear them. I think a lot of people pad their businesses early. I did it. I went to my mom and my dad and my friends and my family. I was like, you have to, you have to. They said no, I was like, no, you get to. This is gonna happen. And all of them signed up for this network marketing business, which I went to the top for, or slightly to the top. But none of their hearts were truly in it. And so one by one, everybody sort of quit. And here I am, my business was like up here and it just faded back down because I wasn't doing it from a place of integrity. And so I say this not to chastise you, but to really talk about how I showed up and to share with you some things that don't work. Now, here's the part about enrolling. You wanna enroll people into your business? Just go have some fun, live your life, be successful, like do the damn thing. Be the living embodiment of the thing you're telling them about and they'll ask anyway. Invite them out, talk about life, tell them, yo, I wanna to talk to you about this business, but like before all that, like what's, what are you up to? And hear them, listen to them, be present with them. And when they ask you about your life, share it. Be truthful, be honest, like yo, I'm in this business, it's not easy all the time, but like, yo, it beats going to a job every single day. I'm surfing in the middle of the day and then making calls and meeting people and like, I'm doing business in the water and like, it's actually pretty awesome. Let your life be that. Let your life be the example of why they wanna be in something. I know that the way that it's set up is they try to tell you to talk about everybody else's success stories and, and that, that does work. Social proof does work, but I think what's even more powerful is when you just show up as the thing and show up as love and remind people of what's possible. There's the word, what's possible. I hope that this supported you in any way. If you are a network marketer and you wanted to share this, or if you're just somebody who's been network marketed to and you think that this will support humans, please share this message. I am, we are, hashtag love's voice is going down in a beautiful major way. Live love, give love, be love. <laughs>